Okay. Deadbeat moms. You don't hear much about it, but now, because women are, more or less put it this way, guys are raising their children now, that now the women have to give child support. So that's what we're talking about, the deadbeat moms regarding child support. Not just deadbeat moms as far as in, uh, as being a mom. All right. But, uh, but we're going to include that. But basically, I'm talking about deadbeat moms as far as child support, where it's flipped. You know, you say deadbeat dad, you automatically, you know, you think, oh, he's not paying. Well, there are deadbeat moms, too, where their children was taken away from them. Mm -hmm. And uh, because they weren't responsible and the father is raising them. And now the mother has to give um, child support. So, Ruth Danessa, what do you think about deadbeat moms? Well, I think we want equality, so now we're being treated equal. So I do agree with mothers having to provide for the children if they brought them to the world, even if you, they're not living with them. I do totally agree with that. I think that it what what's good for the goose is good for the gander. It's just like men get their license taken away from them and... Um, their paycheck um, deducted directly from their paycheck. I think it should be the same thing with the mother because at the end of the day, there is a child that has needs that needs to be tended to. So if you can't have kids or if you can't afford kids or if you don't want kids, don't bring them in the world. But there's consequences and it shouldn't be the kid paying for it because they didn't ask to be here. Anissa? I agree 100%. And this is one of the drawbacks from not being celibate. <laughs> I'm serious. It happened, you know. Like you say, you're irresponsible. For whatever the case, whatever the situation. Now there is a kid. Like you said, they didn't ask to be here. You have a responsibility for this child's life. How selfish! How ignorant of you to bring a whole nother being into this world and not care for it. Are you serious? You need to step up or keep your legs closed. Or keep it in your pants. It's ridiculous. Like, this is, this is the world now. It's ridiculous. It's something that is so common that it's, like, no big thing. I was surprised, actually, when I found out that women were being held for child support because you, you're used to hearing about the deadbeat dad. That used to be the norm. I, my mom was a single parent. So when I was like, oh, really? This is what's happening now. It, even so, it, it doesn't change. You really need to be responsible with your body. And now you're responsible for this other life as well. So step up. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, I agree. I think um, women should pay um, child support if the father is taking care of the child. But I think on a lot of situations out here nowadays, um, with a lot of moms that be that has became deadbeat moms, it's because I think they have been dealing with so much trying to be a mom. And, you know, I guess because the father had, you know, I just think the struggle was harder on a mom than it is a father to me. I don't understand. Like, I think because women, I mean, it's easier for a man to just get away with anything as far as being a father than it is. Because that's what society does. Right. Men get away with everything. The woman, you know, is the whore. The guy gets the brownie points. Everything falls on her. Right. So I'm, I'm kind of thinking that I know there is some deadbeat mothers, but I think a lot of deadbeat mothers come from not having that stability with, you know, having a father help out with them with raising some of these kids. Because a lot of these mothers, they have so many, you know, children to raise by themselves. I'm not saying that, you know, that no, the mother that the mother should not have had these children. Because she I'm, don't have it. She couldn't take care of them. She, mm -hmm. she don't have it. If you can't read the baby, yeah, yeah. Then but what about the, the ones baby. who? What about <laughs> the ones that had the baby and was in relationship with these men and they had these children and then later on, you know, they weren't able to maintain the, you know, the so the they kids. have to can work something. Now, if if you if the man can take care of the child and the mother can't, then that's okay. Mm -hmm. That's okay. But you still have to contribute something, even if it's not your money. It should be your time. It is your yeah, child. Yeah, I agree. I, I agree. I know on someone it. who who's. A, a mother who the father has she has three children and she has two living with her and one living with the father different fathers and she she's on in um, child support 
And she's like behind, like behind. And she goes to Atlanta City once a week. So, you know, you can't pay child support, but you go into Atlanta City. Mm-hmm. So it, it does happen with women too, I, I, I think. And now maybe, we, I don't know if we don't hear about it as often or it doesn't happen as often because we have that nurturing, but it does happen. Oh, definitely. It definitely happens. Um, you get those that sit back and they're, they figure, oh, let go with your father. Mm-hmm. You know, and they go with their father and um, and he'll say, OK, I'm taking you to court now for child support. So the t- tables are flipped. But I also know that. Um, so do you think it's a do you think it's more fathers that's really out here raising these kids than the mothers? I think it's more now. Because I'm hearing about it more now. I hear about I'm it hearing it. I don't think it's more men that are doing it, but you just hear about it a little more than what it was before. Before, it was, it was I like. I more the grandparents taking care of the kids. I now. know. It's like mama's baby, papa maybe type, type mm-hmm. attitude. Mm-hmm. And um, a lot of times, like, um, you have this baby, and you think they're with the daddy, but they got dropped off at grandma's house. Right. And grandma and grandpa, or just grandma, is taking care of them. I'm not talking about, and that happens more than anything else than um, deadbeat moms. Mm-hmm. But I'm talking about the deadbeat moms that are running the street, not doing the right thing. And instead of them going into a, a foster home, they go to the, ch- uh, to the dad. Or they go to the grandma. Mm-hmm. It doesn't have to even be the dad that's watching. It could be grandma, and she has to give child support to the grandma to take care of them. Yeah, I agree. You know, but my daughter, um, she wasn't a deadbeat mom. I raised my grandchildren, but she also took care of them. Mm-hmm. It was, Nothing came out of my pocket other than the nurturing in my time. Right. But she closed them. She made sure there was food. You know, she did the food shopping. And they all live with me, and she still does it. Nothing's changed. She still does it. And uh, we got one going on 24, and one guy's going on 17. And believe it or not, my daughter still does. Mm -hmm. It's like she hasn't stopped. We're trying to get them where you need to back off a little bit so they could be responsible young ladies. But... She, I guess what she seen me how I raised her, mm-hmm. and I was always up on my game in raising her, and um, and then when she had her two children, that's what she did. You already set the bar, and that's the thing. They, these children don't have the role model. Mm-hmm. They they they're living with their father, or they're living with their grandparents, and they don't have the role model. And there's so many broken adults mm-hmm. out there because they start like this because they weren't wanted. <laughs> because they weren't wanted or you know they have they have this this hang up and and they they grow up to be broken adults exactly and you you took the words right out of my mouth like i like i almost have nothing else to say after <laughs> because it's the bar you set for your daughter is is what she imitates is what she does now when you don't take care of your kids you're setting the bar for them it just trickles on down they're not going to take care of their kids or provide enough love and attention for their kids if they have any or even self-respect for themselves because they're going to feel so worthless from that. Like, think of what you're setting after you. People don't think about that these days. (laughs) 